everyone, this is Juan Sarmiento and today is Friday, July the 23rd. I have uh, three potential trades that I would like to investigate with you. Okay, so let's get started with MS, that's Morgan Stanley. I have chosen this trade, let me copy it from here. Uh, I, the way to bring it into a spreadsheet is to copy it from your uh, analyze tab and this is obviously you can do that let me unlock it and copy it and paste it just to remind you quickly to form this trade you can uh, press the control key and add one leg at a time so for example I'm looking at November versus August and so I go to November simply because it's more than 90 days to expiration without being more than that okay <laughs> not too big okay press the control key um, but before you do that just the first one needs to be uh, un unclicked okay then you can click that again as many times as you want in this case let's do one two three four five six seven eight and do that for the side as well it needs to be the ask in order to be positive to be a buy order one two three four okay six seven eight okay that creates a back month straddle and do it at the strike price that is closest to the current market price of 94.68 so I'm choosing the 95 then close that and let's go back to something like 30 uh, around 30 days to expiration here 20 is 28 days that sounds good ignore this okay that's just not a uh, standard option use the standard options here again let's go to 95 Pr again press the control key but this time we're going to click on the bid okay as many times as to complete f half of the number of long calls so bid four times okay one two three four and the same for the put side bid bid four times one two three four excellent so let's click on the risk profile and there it is that's the trade exactly as I had it here you can then save this uh, let's see you can create Uh, template uh, not gonna waste too much time on that but you could create a template uh, that could be saved for later use share or the template you can share it but I really wanted to save it um, next time we'll deal with that next time because I have too much to go through today <coughs> okay so let's take this trade copy it copy trade and take it to our spreadsheet paste it there and that's four lots what that means is that we have four genie trades in the same order okay and I have four you can see four short straddles and eight long straddles that's just a format but in reality it's a four okay? the lowest unit uh, unit the lowest common denominator is four okay and the price is here in the order itself 1839 and I have put it here and multiply it times 400 and that gives me the cost of the trade 7412 and multiply that by 10 should be uh, no more than the account value okay so the account value is 88 so 74 is fine all right then we uh, get some data here the earnings well you can go to the chart and you would see you can display the earnings here no long ago so that's good the estimate was 1.63 and the actual was 185 so we take it to our spreadsheet 165 185 
subtract and the difference is 0 0.2 and 0 0.2 divided by uh, divided by the expected okay so the difference divided by the expected that gives me the percent uh, of beat and the percent beat is 12 percent anything above 10 percent is what I like to n to get sometimes you get a big move in the stock 10 percent or more but this had nothing to do with the earnings or perhaps the earnings uh, had some hidden guidance uh, and you need to read carefully the earnings report in order to figure that out then we go to the analyze tab here or the trade tab and we have the uh, trade here and let's analyze it analyze trade and here it is we have here the volatilities of the back month options first and then the front month options second and I write them down here front month 25 it's changed a little bit since I started doing this but that's fine uh, something similar all right so we have the average for the front month is 27.44 for the back month and for the front month 25.7 the difference is 1.45 if, if this number is less than 3% it can be traded less than 3 number 3 okay this is, this is volatility in percentage so if the difference is less than 3 I'm good to go then the liquidity comes here you go to the um, create duplicate and that tells you the mid and the natural okay so the mid is 1837 the natural 877 okay I have something already here I'm gonna show you okay so the mid is 1832 let me change it to be precise to the current uh, market condition and the natural is 18.68 and the difference is less than three percent again if it's less than three percent I consider it liquid enough enough for me to trade and so trade is the you can see that I put this uh, based on some formula on that formula whether I can trade it or not okay and so I'm gonna I'm gonna color that green if I may if I can uh, okay so cell select the cell and make it a color green that means okay I can do that oh that's the border I want to fill there you go same here here because simply because it says to trade it sometimes the condition is not good enough and then the percent current IV percentile should be less than 15 percent and it is to get that go to the trade tab and scroll down until you see here current IV percentile is 13 now so that's great that means it's dropped a little bit since I did this and then I'm saying here I'm ready to go with Morgan Stanley okay so you're gonna place the trade unlock here and you are here at the mid okay if that doesn't fill then you raise raise your uh, bid until it gets filled okay and as you can see I'm paying seven thousand three hundred and fifty two dollars in my account I have forty two thousand uh, available of cash and we will get back to that but you can see it here oh it filled already good if it doesn't fill then you come back and increase the bid price it did get filled so let's go to our next trade okay let's go back to oh HCA okay and here we're gonna do the same calculations as you can see there is only one here that did, didn't quite match which is my uh, liquidity okay so uh, I already created the trade here so I'm gonna in the interest of time go to the analyze tab 
enter HCA don't have it here so I'm going to copy it I copied this from my own uh, real trading account and I'm going to paste it here paste there it is and analyze okay so quickly uh, we unlock it and we see December and August we could actually look at the ad simulated race August 3rd uh, 13 well that's 21 days from now we can do the August 20 and that's close to 30 or we can even do 27 that's 35 days okay whatever is more uh, let's see analyze straight we can actually compare that August 20 August 20 obviously the further out you go uh, the more credit you're gonna get August 27 here it is okay. and then the long needs to be 90 days or more to expiration and September is too close December is okay okay and you can see which one is cheaper obviously the one with the options expiring on August uh, the 27 but there are other things to consider for, for example which one has the highest volatility of the two well the August 27 do a little more volatility okay perhaps take a look at the chart okay and see w what's the difference between the two I like to see for example the the cone here to be quite large okay so which one has the largest well this one here the front month uh, gives me 696 this one here gives me 674 so it's a little better for the front month and that's because the options are going to move are going to erode faster okay uh, it, you could go to the d a different strike price like 260 is closer But all these de uh, details, okay, they're not that important. In the end, you can do either one. Okay, this, uh, see how my volatility dropped? So that's gonna change my perception. Okay, in, our, in the interest of time, again, you can do that on your own time and compare. Okay, compare which one is gives you the better profile. In this case, what I did here at 265, 250 rather, looks good. Okay, the 260 might be better. Okay, so let's if we do the 260 here with the front month expiration a little shorter. Also, if you're cl the closer you are to the, the strike price, uh, the easier it would be to get filled. Okay, so 260 might be the better choice. Okay, so on price, I think this is better in terms of volatility. The difference in volatility here is a little further out. So let's do this one here. August 20. Okay, let's copy that and take it to my spreadsheet paste it there there okay the price is 51.95 uh, we couldn't enter two of those it needs to be one only one genie trade okay not more than that not two okay let's the expected earnings I think I went through that but let's quickly review that 436 is the actual versus 317 was the expected yeah I have that correct let's go to the uh, analyze tab and enter the volatility here okay so we have front month and back month back month first 
25.65, 25.62 versus 30, no, 23.91, 24.13. And it's still good, okay? Okay, liquidity is easy to create. Duplicate, and then you see mid 51.9, 51.9 versus 54.65. The difference is 5%, so it says do not trade. That means it's not liquid. It doesn't bother me too much because we, we are motivated by a big difference in, in, uh, in the earnings expected versus actual and the volatility is uh, skew is practically nothing all we need is a current IP percentile make it sure that that's low go to the trade tab scroll down and it says 11 percent that looks great only one of them is not good I need to be the fill okay but the others are green, so I'm, I'm willing to enter this trade, go to the analyze again, and we have it here, ready to go, unlock it so that we get the better price, and you can adjust it up. Okay, while we wait, let's go and uh, look for our last trade, here is cost, Costco. Let's copy that and you would uh, I'm going to go very quickly through this uh, not to go into much detail let's see um, but you you see how I evaluate my trades now uh, I can quickly look we have August the 20th it could be let's do analyze trade uh, what is the strike price well I have two, 415 let's use 420 as the strike price okay unlock it and you see that that's really 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 low 14 versus 19 that's a big difference really it's a really low volatility let's look at a chart yeah the volatility is way down here it could go as high as 38 but that's not a lot it's not a, a stock that would help us a lot. We need volatility to really spike up. And the Costco is just not that kind of a stock. Okay, So let's avoid that. Volatility is just too low, too low for this stock. And you can see here when we do the analysis, says do not trade. That volatility is, I would say you need a volatility of around 30. Uh, 20 is uh, still too much, too little. So 25 would be okay, but I prefer to be around thir between 30 and 40. Okay? So that's not going to work for me, I'm afraid. Okay, now that we have those two, let's go to the monitor tab and adjust my price here and increase it. Cancel and replace and increase the debit by five pennies. 10 pennies because it's quite illiquid okay now let's look at our trades starting with Adobe go to the analyze tab okay if the price was over here and I call it over the smiley face okay over this um, um, edge here I would move my calls higher but I also want to give myself some opportunity if the stock keeps going up and it is I'd rather wait until next week okay and take my profits then Adobe lo looking really good the expiration uh, of the shorts is August and that's 14 days 
okay? So if it was seven or less, then I would adjust, meaning roll it over. Not gonna do anything about it. Let's look at ADR. ADR, now it's above the smiley face. Let's take a look at the chart. It's really rocking, okay? So we need to take profits. How do we do it? We roll it up. Well, we did that already up to 90. We can roll it up even higher. But I think we did that recently. So let's go to the monitor tab, account statement, and go back. I think I did that last week. So let's go back seven days and enter the symbol VHR. I probably entered that last week to take profits. I can't, it's not showing up, so let's skip that. Let's go back 30 days. There it is. Okay. So I did roll it up, you see, it got filled from 260 to 290. And that was in order to get a credit of 20.3. Okay. Uh, so let's analyze that trade. If I had not done this, it would have looked like this. Okay? So I did take some profit. All right. And you could return this to what it was, but it will cost you. No, what I want to do, if anything, is to roll it up. Okay, so uh, in this case, I will sell the 290 and buy something higher, like the 300. And that's a way of staying in the game on the upside, uh, but taking a little profit. I don't particularly care to do that. Look at the delta, it's 31, that's not high. And doing that, it goes only to 14. You know. I would less enjoy that for a little more of a ride. Facebook today is really hot, so let's see what do we do. Let's reset here. Reset the slices to make sure that we know where we are right here at 371. Okay, I already moved from 330 my outstanding call to 355, so we can raise it up again. And our delta is 41, so let's analyze trade, analyze rolling. And what I would do is buy, sell the 355 and buy something higher. In this case, 375, something slightly above the current market price, if there is such a thing. Yeah. And make sure that it's August the 20th. Okay. Uh, and this will be one way of taking profit look at the delta it goes back down to 16 from 38 to 16 okay you can do that or you can do sell a call since it's july since it's august and it's we are close you can simply con convert this into a vertical spread how well by selling a call at a higher strike price analyze closing And we will sell one at 375. There. And then you end up with a flat thing. See? Well, I don't like it much because now it's delta negative. Uh, if we did this, it's still delta positive. But if the stock collapses, we will capture those. Uh, delta negative dollars okay let's lo roll it over to 375 and that way we get some cash back that we can use to trade other make other trades okay hca is still not filling so let's adjust that go to the ac account activity and positions okay so yeah that's going up now and, and so what happens is that, yeah, the price is going up, so we need to unlock it and try it again. 
it still is within my my budget okay that got filled yeah two separate trades as you can see okay let's go to KMX okay that stock might be breaking out soon otherwise form a double top so <laughs> either one can happen okay so we have August 6 October 15 I don't need to change anything this looks great if the stock goes up strongly great if it goes down volatility will spike and that will be great too MS is the trade we started and let's delete the existing yeah we are making a little money already okay I like it when that happens Nike okay Nike Ooh, we have July 13 put oh I remember this okay this July 23rd is gonna expire today okay so we could sell puts on the August 13 and that was my Facebook taking profit so let's say I'm just gonna create a trade here I'm going to sell same as the call shorts but I'm gonna sell puts okay I don't get but 25 cents that's not a whole lot and uh, in fact what if the stock collapses well this 25 cents is just not worth it I'd rather let that put expire and this is what I end up with okay I end up with my six long calls and three short calls plus the puts that would eventually expire worthless unless the stock collapses uh, so it's right there for that purpose okay what if what if we just sell one little call because nah, because I want to take profits okay so let's sell one little call you can sell as many as three without being too much of an issue okay let's sell one okay and my deltas become slightly negative I don't know if I want that let's look at the chart no Nike is working out very nicely so no need to to do that but you can certainly roll one up couldn't we because now the stock is at 165 so let's take this and say analyze rolling and just one we're going to go to higher strike price 165 but conserve the same expiration okay that gives us a thousand dollars back okay here is what it with it without it with it so my deltas are reduced a little bit uh, if I do two of them two roll ups then my deltas become 26 I think the stock is moving strongly enough so that I want to keep bullish on that one but I also don't want to be completely exposed to a high delta confirm and send because the stock is way up there right now okay Nike let's go to PayPal PayPal is just going above the smiley face you can see this, the apex here of my curve here and the strike price is above that okay so the stock is two, 380, 308 versus my call here is 280 I have one outstanding call so I can roll that up analyze rolling just move one uh, October 15th and we're going to buy a higher strike price in this case 310 and that was my Nike trade okay same expiration though right there and that way we get 22 almost two thousand dollars nineteen hundred and seventeen dollars and my Delta is still positive let's take a look at the chart yeah that is another big mover and earnings are coming up and that could cause the stock to come down so we want to you you have two options close the trade before the earnings is one thing that I would recommend you do but also neutralize your Delta is a good move seven seven is okay 
a delta of 7. And so let's get our money back. And then UPS, UPS, the deltas are minimal here. Oh, look at this, August. We have the puts expiring, uh, so as such. And 200, analyze closing. Let's see if we were to sell two puts at the same expiration as our August calls. Oh, there is money on them, 225. Yeah, I like to do that, $2.25. And that gives me $410. Because this, this July 23rd puts are about to expire, so you pretty much ignore them, see? It looks like this now, but by expiration today, it would look like this. Still delta positive. Uh-huh. So how many calls we have? We have long calls, two. Short calls, two. But we have the ones we, uh, we rolled up. And those are this UPS August 20th at 210. Do I think this stock could go down? Earnings are closed, so we want to neutralize our deltas, and it's 55. So what do we do? Well, we can sell one of these calls, couldn't we? Analyze closing. Just sell one, and that should be enough to neutralize my deltas. Yes, indeed. Okay. So a big move after earnings doesn't bother me. It would be good because we are delta neutral but look the ends of this trade are kick, kicked up and down respectively which means we could make money if there is a strong move after earnings so let's confirm and send and sell the one call it should feel there it is okay so we still have one long call but my deltas are neutral so you see, when you want to neutralize your deltas and your deltas are positive, you sell calls. If you want to neutralize your deltas and your deltas are negative, you sell puts. That's it. And you are better off selling your outstanding calls and puts because that way you're not really adding commissions because you were going to close that at some point anyway. Okay, so that's it that's all for today so thank you very, very much for joining me thank you for the patience it's a it was a long seminar but i think we got a lot said thank you very much see you too you, you all next time bye bye